What up, what up, Wimbush here. And you know this channel always brings you the latest and greatest and dopest technology, right? And today, it's going to be no different. I present to you Radical Motion, a suitless motion capture solution where you can do motion capture with nothing but your cell phone, your webcam, or any type of video device that you might have at your disposal. And there's a few ways you could go about it, which I'm going to display. You could just use your phone to record a clip, upload it, and then you'll have some motion capture data, or you could do it live directly through your webcam. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. But before we get started, I wanted to bring this up because this is something that actually promised me. They said that there's always going to be a free starter solution pack. So anybody could jump in and play with everything that I'm about to show you today. And then if you want to take it to the next level, they do have another tier, which is the professional tier. That's about $8 a month. But again, anybody out there in the world can actually jump right in today and use it absolutely free. So let's get started with the simplest solution, which I think a lot of people are going to get started with, and that's recording a clip and then up loading it to the server. Now, if we're going to take a look at my setup here, I have an external monitor hooked up to my cell phone directly. The reason I have an external monitor is so that I can see if I'm in frame at all times. And another tip for recording is you can record it at widescreen at 16 by 9, but it's only going to pull that up at 4 by 3. So I make my camera resolution as close as possible. And then you only need 30 frames per second. If you go 24 or 60, it's not going to matter. Add more frames to it isn't going to make it a lot cleaner. So again, all you need is 30 frames per second at four by three. So to get started with your recording, you're gonna to wanna to be in a T pose for about two seconds before breaking off into your animation. And so you can walk on and off camera. The AI solution inside the product is actually smart enough to see whenever you're gonna be in there. But for me, I just like to organize my clips a little bit better. So I bring it into software. I'm using Adobe Encoder, but you can use anything you want like DaVinci Resolve or Premiere or Final Cut. So I bring in my clip and I'm just gonna go until I hit like the T pose right about there. And then I'm going to make it endpoint. And then I'm going to scroll it out to pass my animation somewhere about there. And then I'm just going to put an output. And then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm just going to export out this clip. So this isn't necessary, but again, this is just something I like to do to organize my clips so I'm not wasting any time on the upload. So now let's upload it to Radical Motion to show you how easy this is. So in the top right hand corner, I'm going to come over to create. And I want to use the bottom one that says create motion. And then you should see this pop up and it's going to say drag and drop your file directly into this area. And which let me bring over Windows Explorer. I'm going to take that file that I just exported and I'm just going to drag it in. And then I'm just going to hit upload from here. So it's already starting to play. Let me go back to the beginning here. And I'm just going to scroll in to my character. You can see that we're in T-Pose, but that's what I wanted to show you right there. You see the mouth movements in the face. I mean, that's crazy, right? I haven't seen that with any AI solutions in the past, with motion capture in particular, where it can actually pull in the facial motion capture. So that's something that makes this system stand outside the rest. So let me just play this big screen for you so you can really see what's going on. Cause I don't know if you saw it in that small screen, but look at that right there. I mean, that's incredible. The facial data, and you can see me in the lower right hand corner doing auto movements. I'm spinning around and it's just capturing it. It's pretty much close to perfect, right? I mean, this is a really good capturing solution for only using one clip of video. Now, if you watched the video that I did with EJ a couple of months ago, you know exactly what Canvas is. If not, I would suggest you watch that video. But within Canvas, we can actually do live motion capture as well using our webcam, which I'm going to demonstrate now using the upper body. I'm inside of Radical Motion and I'm going to come up here to create. And then I'm going to come down here to go live. Then this next screen will pop up. I'm going to click start room now. Then we'll create a live room. Then I'll just use the default template. And that's all there should be to it. Now we'll just click enter room. And before I start the motion capture, I just wanted to share another tip. So I'm using this software called Camo that will allow you to use your phone as a webcam in which most cases will give you a much cleaner picture than cameras built into your laptops, which I'm using here. It's actually let me use my phone at 4K 30 frames per second, which looks really sharp as you can see right here. Okay, so back to it. I'm in the pick your setup screen. And for this example, we're going to do the upper body and fingers. But I do want to point out that this feature is currently in early public beta. So now after we hit continue, we will wait just a few moments for the connection to set up. And once it does, we'll be able to calibrate to our character. Once ready, the system will tell us to make a hands up pose as you can see me doing right here with my palms facing front towards the camera. And that's all there is to it. Easy enough, right? You can see me in the lower corner in the camera, which is running real time in the viewport controlling the character from the waist up. 
Actually, let me move in a little bit closer so you can get a full view of the face because it's not only capturing the hands, but it's capturing the face as well. Now, I do see a lot of people getting into VTubing, especially on Twitch, so I can see a lot of them really making use of this feature, or for whatever reason, if you want to do motion capture from the torso up and not worry about your legs, then this should be right up your alley. So going with the full body motion, it's going to be the same exact setup as before, but this time, whenever we're calibrating the camera, of course, we're going to be inside the T-Post. As you can see right here, it's going to calibrate everything to your body, and it's as easy as that. Now it's going to jump back into Canvas Live, and you can see me moving around, and the cool thing about it too is we're still getting the facial motion capture in there. Now, I would suggest that you go back and watch the Canvas video that I did with EJ so you can get a full breakdown on exactly what Canvas is and how you can use it with this motion capture right here. You can actually build out entire scenes. You can collaborate with a lot of people around the world and you can bring in your motion capture so somebody could be directing you while you're doing the motion capture all within Canvas, absolutely live. But one last thing inside of Canvas, when we uploaded our clips, there's actually a library that's being built for yourself that you can use and drag and drop on two characters. Like you see right here inside of Canvas, if I come over here to motion, you can see right here where it says your work. These are a couple of clips that I saved whenever I uploaded them. So we have a character already inside of our Canvas scene and there's already an attachment. I'm using the Star Wars default template there. You can see we have the ship back there. We have R2D2. And we have this character that's moving around within the scene. Now let's say we actually wanted to use one of my clips. I can actually delete this. I'm just going to drag this one in like so. And the nice thing is now with these handles here, we can actually trim them. So you can see how I'm in the T-pose at first. Maybe I don't want to show the T-pose. Actually, we don't want to show the T-pose. So we can start it right there. And then we could take it at the end where I walk off camera. And we just take it to right there. So now let me drag this all the way to the beginning. Let me take my timeline all the way to the beginning as well and click on play. So now this is the video clip that I uploaded to Radical Motion and we're using it inside of Canvas Live and we trim the clip down as well. And not only can you live stream directly in the Radical Canvas, but from there, you can also live stream directly into other applications like Unreal Engine, Unity, Maya, Blender, replicant and all in real time all you would have to do is go directly to the website where you could download the plugins as in this case right now i'm showing unreal engine and with just a couple of steps that you can find inside their guide you can hook it up directly from radical canvas directly into unreal engine as you're seeing right here and then on top of that the other dope thing you could do is you could take up to 10 people that would be 10 motion capture actors all inside the same live canvas room and you can have all those concurrent users be streamed to the applications i just listed so you can have them streaming real time into canvas unreal engine unity etc now let's dive out of canvas and jump into two applications that i use a lot for motion capture which would be iClone and then also cinema 4d i want to show you how we can bring the fbx's directly into them extremely easily so on the dashboard right here i'm just going to click on this one right here and there we go so for any wrestling fans that we got out there a shout out to rakishi this is the rakishi dance from the wwe but you can just see the character i got a smile on my face we're just moving forward and back doing the dance there and let's say i want to bring this onto a character within iclone a little moonwalk there as well so what i'm going to do is come over here to export fbx i'm going to left click on this and that's all there was to it you can see now we have an fbx that downloaded into our folder so now we're inside of iclone 8 i already have a character within my scene here now watch how easy this is to bring a motion capture onto here so you see i have my fbx right here i'm just going to left click actually let me select my character first you want to make sure you have these yellow boxes around them now brought back up windows explorer i'm just going to left click drag it onto my character and now that's going to bring up some import settings in which where it says motion profile we want to left click on this and then we're going to look for you guessed it radical which you can see right here so we're going to left click on this and that's all we have to do now we can hit convert all now you can see the characters inside the t-pose let me just move it forward a little bit actually bring the endpoint into right there now i'm going to click on play and you can see that's all there was to it so we brought a motion capture data from radical into iclone just with a drag and drop 
Now from here, if you watched any of my past videos, you can definitely go through and do some cleanup on there, especially if there's any limbs that are going through, because it depends on your character size, right? So you just want to go through, clean it up, and then you'll be good to go from there. But that's pretty amazing how we just went from a cell phone video to a full body motion capture solution, all within just a few clicks. Now let's bring it in the Cinema 4D, but before that, we're gonna bring in the Mixamo character because the motion capture data from Radical actually works really well with Mixamo characters. So I'm on Mixamo right now. I already have this Ninja character selected. I'm just gonna come over to Animations. What I like to do is come over to Search and type in T. And we have this T pose there. Even though he's already in the T pose, this one's different. So watch when I click on this, you can see the arms moved up. And I found that it's just more exact when you do it this way. So once you grab this T-Pose right here, you just come over to download, and then we're just gonna save it out. So now we're inside Cinema 4D. I just dragged and dropped the Mixamo character right into here, as you can see, as we have in our viewport. So let's open up Windows Explorer. I'm just gonna take that file from Radical, which is core right here, drag this into Cinema 4D. That's gonna bring up these import settings, of which I'm just gonna click on OK, not gonna select anything different. And now it's gonna bring in a separate window. It's gonna bring in our mocap data, which if I play this through right there, you can see we have our motion capture playing through right there. So we're gonna bring that into our other scene, right? So I'm just gonna select these two, come over to object, and I'm just gonna group them. And I'm just gonna name this one Radical. And then I'm gonna click Edit, and I'm gonna copy it. And we're gonna paste it in right here. So what Radical selected right here, this is the motion capture data. I'm gonna come over here to Tags, and I'm gonna come down here to Rigging, and then I'm going to click on character definition. So with this selected now, instead of my attributes panel, I'm going to click on open manager. And I'm just going to click on extract skeleton. So now you can see that it pulled all the different joints for everything that's on a radical skeleton there. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the Mixamo character. Come over to tags, come down here to where it says rigging tags. And then we're going to come to character definition, open manager. And I'm going to extract the skeleton as well. So this is why using a Mixamo character is really good because Cinema 40 will align this exactly for you. You don't have to do anything else. So with my Ninja selected, I'm going to click on Tags again, come down here to Rigging Tags, and then I'm going to click on Character Solver. So with my Character Solver selected right here instead of my Objects panel, I'm going to take this character definition from the Radical Motion Capture data. I'm going to left click, hold, drag it down here to where it says Character Source. And now when I play it through, Let's go through the timeline a little bit more. But now you can see the Ninja now has that motion capture data right there on them. So I can actually hide that right there. Let me come over here. I'm gonna hide the Mixamo skeleton as well so we can just see the motion capture. So I'm gonna play this through. So now right inside of Cinema 4D, it was extremely easy to bring in that motion capture data from Radical into there. And again, you can clean this up inside Cinema 4D as well. So you can see the magnitude of all the different applications that you could use this motion capture data in extremely easily. Now, when I had my last chat with the team at Radical, they told me, and these are their words, Radical aims to achieve final pixel production level quality in their motion capture product on par with conventional systems by next year, 2025, with a single camera and all in real time. I would say this is a company you want to keep an eye out because it's only going to get better from here. And once again, my name is Winbush. Leave me a comment down below. And I'm also going to leave a link to the Discord for the Radical Motion for anybody out there that might want to hit them up directly. They've been extremely responsive within their Discord and they have a really great community. So until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in that next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.